yo, we got this bearing all packed up in grease. I'm gonna drop it on in there. Of course, we gotta heat it up. Still waiting on our bushing for the end. Um, supposed to be here yesterday, but uh, I stopped by Toyota, and they said it will probably be there Monday. So. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Do -do 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 -do. Pushing in. One, two. Use the newsies in there. Make our life a little easier. Paint her up. Get this bushing in. Could have before. I just didn't want to ruin my new paint job. You know. Get all the excess grease off. Make her all nice and pretty, like. All right. Let's put this thing together. All nice and painted up. Just gonna. I still forgot to buy gloves, so yeah. It's <laughs> But 
yeah, basically when you're putting that in, you just want to roll it while it so it'll catch and slide right in. That's how you do that. Pretty easy. A brand new seal that cost us way more than it should have. Push it in my There's probably a torque spec for this. I don't have a manual yet. Um, whenever we get that, we'll torque it down proper. But for now, we're just going to assemble it. You see, right here. It's a little bit of wear on it. That's why I wanted to get a new one. Shut up! Um, yeah. Fortunately, we couldn't get a brand new one. Oh, well. Okay, new spring. Skip skirt. Look at that. <laughs> well, then. there we go. All right, so we got ourselves some literature. A few things we gotta do, a little inch pound wrench and a uh, cut off piece that we are going to make an adapter so we can properly tension the uh, little system we got here. So we're gonna do that. like that. Now we got that. We can put our inch pound wrench on ya. Measure our uh, resistance. I almost never use my little sockets. So if I just weld one of these, it'll probably be okay. I have nothing against that since I never use them. So I think we're gonna do that. It says it's a screen do like you know, use three eighths. I absolutely never ever ever use a three eighths, so that's a good size. So we'll go uh take her to the welding bench. We'll clean it up. Our teep! Our teep's all fucked up. 
Oh no. Oh no. So you might be thinking, Cordy, why are you going through all this trouble? Why don't you just tighten it like any normal person would probably do? And that's because... I don't know. Alright, we've got our... <laughs> our ugly... Sick welds. Ew, grease. Oh, that's nasty. Um, we've got our book of fairy tales. And we are going to... Shut that on there. Cool. Uh, Alright, so, what it says, Shaw, insert and tighten the adjusting screw until the pinion turning torque is 3.5. Um, oh, my bad. <laughs> 3.5 inch pounds. It was backwards. It was pounds, it was, confused me, it was pounds per inch. Threw me way off. Alright. So, 3.5. Four, six, eight. Okay, so four. We'll just do four. Um, yeah, I guess four, six, eight, ten. Cool. We'll do that. So it's the first line on our little. Thing I'm doing it. Okay. So we are. Can you also do? Okay, guys. So misunderstanding. You leave this loose. Then you measure your pinion torque. So we gotta. Tap it down more. It's almost about four. There we are, perfect. That is perfect, though. Cool. Okie dokie. So we, I think we figured it out. Maybe. So what we got is uh, this. Tighten this down to four inch pounds, a boot, and then this. If I read right, you tighten this to 18 foot pounds, not inch pounds, and then you back it off by 25 to 30 degrees. So we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot and see. Um, I just feel like this isn't gonna click. We'll see. I mean, it will if you tighten it enough. I just feel like that might be too much. Alright, there goes something. Okay, you know what? I actually believe that is going to work just fine. So back it off by... Uh, I'm telling you, that's too tight. See, that's what I don't understand. That is just way too tight. There's no way. There's just no way. Let's see, let's see that being right. Oh, yeah. Dad, there's no fucking way that you're going to hurt it. Man. Just don't believe it, man. I just don't believe it. It's all lies. I think that's it. But I, mean, I like that. Feels good. Still tight. But you know, if it ends up, we feel like it's too loose. Um, yeah. I don't know. Some just don't seem right about that, you know? Just don't seem right. But, yeah. Indubitably. Okay. Um. Yeah, man. That's all I got. Feels good. Whether it feel good, then be like nine million degrees tight. Alrighty ho. So what we? Oops, shit. So what we got here? This is a. What is it? A Mark IV? I don't know. I don't know my supers. I'm a disgrace. 
But uh, I believe it's a Mark IV Supra um, inner tay rad. And we installed it. Yeah. Then we got our, this would be our S14 ball joint that on the end. Took me a second to figure that combo out, see what worked. But we got her. Mm. Maybe it isn't supposed to be that loose, man. Mm. Alright, we're having second thoughts, you all. <laughs> I don't know, man, maybe. I mean, that's what it says. It's probably not a liar, huh? But I mean, we also do have some leverage on her. Man, I don't know. I'm telling you something ain't right with that though. Any hoopst? Okay. We're gonna do 10 foot pounds, okay. I'm just not losing right, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Yeah. This fucking bitch near his place. I'm ruining that right there. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> You dingus. <clears throat> I mean, that ought to be tight. Alright, we got some parts in. We're just gonna we're open the old box up. Woo! Oh, is there, wait, what? Haha! <laughs> There's only one. There's only one. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty funny. I guess they shipped them separate. Well, maybe not then. I don't know. We were <laughs> we were gonna put the rack together because we got our seals, but uh, our boots. But I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> nice. We well, put one side on again. I don't know. Whatever. We gonna do it. <laughs> All right, we slip our boot on. Now one thing, I'm not really sure of, it's a tight fit, but um, basically, since the rack is a bit longer than the original housing, there we go, um, I'm not exactly sure how well um, this is going to want to stretch, oh, oh, put a little, alright, we got all kinds of cool stuff going on, finally got it on, um, we also managed to drop our camera um <laughs> the lens is eh, i mean it works but uh it's not happy it's a little crusty when you're trying to move it but uh yeah we finally got it on there it's pain in the ass dropped our camera happy days oh Ooh, that, that tape was different that tape's scary Ooh, ooh, ooh. Scared. The tape was a little tougher. <laughs> right. Nothing too crazy. Just got our other boot. Just get the good old. <laughs> Alright, well, we mounted it. Uh, just made sure the tie rods were long enough, everything was lined up. Um, it's all good. We're still waiting on our uh, sweet.
sweet whatever um, <laughs> rack bushings to those. Um, yeah, but that's still not going to go in there for a while because when we mount our 3TC, we're going to have to cut this. Um, I mean, we wouldn't have to take it out, but we're going to. Why wouldn't you? Um, but yeah.